Hey guys, this is all streamed out. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode of MLB The Show 23 with our franchise. And today we're going to be pitching as Robbie Ray and we're going to be in San Diego pitching against Lucas Giolito. So let's get into today's game. Okay, here we go. We're starting off with Cole Young and Lucas Giolito has a four seam, a circle, a slider, and a 12 6 curve. We're not going to be quick enough to get to that. Good try, though. Uh, Colton Wong hitting 244. Brown ball to the right side. Almost to hit. That takes care of Wong. Two outs, bases empty. And here's Teoscar Hernandez hitting 213. There's ball one. No strikes. Here's a fun fact on Lucas Giolito. He and his former high school teammate Max Freed both will take a scouting report the night before their start and then go through it by playing MLB the show. There we go. Hernandez will keep the inning alive with the hit. Here's Julio Rodriguez hitting 263. Really good balance, nice extension, and he met it out front for the line drive knock. Four seam inside for ball one. Here lets that one go for a ball. Ooh. Swing and a miss. Strike okay. Kelly just threw that fastball by him, elevated, and if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. The one one is foul. not too bad, just uh, a little early and a little too low. Riding to the plate. So okay. That one, it's a Middle of the first, yeah, we're tied. <clears throat> Stepping in for San Diego. We've got Xander Bogarts. The wind of the pitch. There we go. Xander Bogarts is actually a twin. His twin brother Jair signed with the Red Sox initially and played a little bit in the Boston organization. That's pretty cool. Wow. Spring misses. And it's two and one. When former Red Sox scout Mike Lord visited Aruba for a tryout in the summer of 2009, 16 year old okay. Bogarts was in bed with chicken pox and a fever, and mom said, You got to stay in bed. But she agreed to lift the order for one day thanks to some persuading from Xander's uncle. And after an impressive tryout, he. Well, that's a walk to start the game off. Bogarts on the go. And what's interesting is Xander wanted to be a teacher when he was growing up, and obviously that did not happen. But what's cool is that his elementary school was renamed after him. Rodriguez. Okay, good catch. We've got one Soto, 33 home runs. Added another hit as well. Going one. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Left-hand batter waits. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base Okay. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at-bat after being down in the count, up against it with two strikes right there. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it. Good knuckle there. curve. I think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box. Got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. And that one is lifted in the air. Fernandez on the move, racing back. On the warning track, and hauls it in. Runner okay, two outs. Runners on the corners for Lane Thomas. And the ball's just not coming off his back the way it did earlier in the regular season. Lane Thomas in the box now. Take strike one. Okay, a little bit low. Bogarts on third. Soto on at first with two down. And that is cut on and miss. And it's one and two. I think he was sitting off speed there. 
And France will grab that for the third out. End of the first. Welcome back. New inning getting started. And stepping in for the Mariners, Ty France. Ty France hitting 242. Giolito back to work. And fouled off. Giolito, a former All Star. He features a four seam fastball, a changeup, a slider, and he occasionally uses a curve. Wow. Okay. Okay. A little early. This to center field. That is out number one. That's a really nice play right Here is Eugenio Suarez. Those could be a little tricky, especially if the wind's rolling around out there. He's hitting 221. Eugenio Suarez, the next to hit, takes ball one. Ooh. Swing and a miss. And that's strike one. Second inning here, no score. I wanted that to be down. Swing and a miss. That's strike two. Okay. And the right hater deals. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. Good pitch. And Michael Matos hitting seventh. He is uh, hitting 252. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And Force yeah, him just you inside. Get inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice Circle job. just inside. No strikes to count. He was late there. Okay. As a hitter, you got to learn something from that pitch. He clearly wasn't timed up on the fastball. In a 2 0 count, you have to be ready to do damage. Swing and this one's two and two. And he picks it up in foul territory. The pitch popped up. Kim reached for it and pops it up for an out. And welcome back. And now it's Austin Nolan. Nolan is hitting 315. Kick the pitch. Line drive, base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff knock. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. We often hear the phrase short to it, long through it. And Trent Grisham hitting 255. The barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. That was not good. Well, with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt, a good secondary lead doesn't have to get away. Okay, we're going to try that slider again. Based off the trajectory, get yourself into scoring position. On the ground, two ball. Fires to second. Oh, we got one. First, but he beat it. And Ha Sung Kim. Ha Sung Kim. Runner on the goal. Pitch is low. Got him. Throw to second. Tag. Out at second. That goes to show you stealing a base is a tough thing to do and far from a sure thing, even with big time speed. It's not easy to catch him, but that was a great catch and throw. Quick, not rushed, and accurate. That was nice. That misses the zone. Two balls, no strikes. Here we go, strike one. Strike two on a foul. Two and two. The pitch. In the dirt. And he's out. First, and that is that. We'll move to the third with no. Okay.
back here in San Diego. Well, here we go. Top of the We've got Harry Ford. Now the Mariners catcher, Harry Ford. He's hitting 105. All one, a four seam high. In the eighth spot in today's lineup, a former first round pick in 2021. Out to short, Bogarts. Tosses to first, leadoff hitter gone. Okay. Here's Robbie Ray. Here's the pitcher, Robbie Ray. Pitchers get to hit in San Diego. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. You know, we talk so much about how guys prepare for a start. For Giolito, one of the things that's really cool, he actually uses scouting reports and then plays MLB oh, to show right. to execute how he's going to go about attacking hitters. Wow. Okay. Okay. Oh, kind of a weird pitch and a weird swing on that strikeout. It's just a and Cole Young grounded out last time. He's 0 for 1. But in the box, I think he just gave up on it way too early. And by the time he realized it was dropping into the zone, he just fires off a really poor swing. So the night before his start, he effectively goes over the lineup he anticipates he's going to face and plays there we the go. Game. So he goes through an entire opposing lineup on MLB The Show, utilizing his own scouting report the team provided. Swung on, popped up on the and that is out number three. Makes the play and it's out number Middle three. of the third, we are scoreless. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. So digging in now for San Diego, Lucas Giolito. That one missed. Okay. Count one and oh. Next offering is in for Not strike. bad. And now the count one and two after the swing and the miss. Next offering upstairs. It's a good take. Come on. We're not going to walk the pitcher. Thank you. No, just a beautiful fastball on the inside corner for that backwards K right there. I think the hitter saw it all the way coming from that opposite arm angle. So I got to think he was looking away and just got locked up by the hard stuff boring in on his hands. Strikes oh, and two. Bogarts, who wears that number two on his back for his idol, Derek Jeter. Out of line, out towards center. That's a hit. So they get a man aboard. All right. One out single. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry. Bogarts on the go. That's a foul. Side and foul ball. Cronenworth, multi-time All-Star, 30 years old now, and he's been wearing out home plate lately. He scored 10 times in the last. It's out number games. two. Juan Soto singled in the first. And he's already singled in this game. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Bogarts off of first with two away. Good eye right there. Okay. Kicks and deals. And another ball. Got him. Got him. End of the third, scoreless. Padres leave one, still no score. Back here at the ballpark. And Colton Wong is 0 for 1. <clears throat> and a pitch. In the air of the infield. That takes care of okay, one. out number one. Here's Teoscar Hernandez singled. One for one with a single so far. Swings through that one. Oh and one. 
Well, right now this battery is seeing the aggressiveness of the hitters early in the count and often so got to be real careful that you don't give too good of a pitch especially that's up in the air that is caught nice grab on the run and there's two down and Rodriguez he struck out in the first out swinging his first time That's a hit. And Ty France is 0 for 1. He's 0 for 1. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Okay, I'm not moving. Out, but no action. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. Here we go, two and one. And that's ball two. In the air, right side of the infield. Cronenworth moving under this one. He's there. Middle of the fourth, no score. Mariners. Bottom of the inning. Here's Manny Machado is 0 for 1. The wine of the pitch. Chris Machado is a guy who impacts the game with his bat. He's got big time power, but what about the defense? He hasn't only won a gold glove, multiple gold gloves, but he's also won a platinum glove as the best defender at any position in his league. Mm. Next pitch downstairs and a count two and one. And one thing about Machado is that he's always been great defensively. It's not something that came along later after he established his bat. The defense was there from day one. Okay. We'll see if we can get one to. Yep, we got him to reach. Machado is gone, and there's one away. Lane Thomas popped out in the first. In there, and it's on one. We go zero and two. That was not where I wanted it. On the ground to third. And it gets by him. Okay. Just one of those seen high base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Nola in the box now. No balls and a strike. Picked up a base hit to center his first time up. 0 oh 2. Thomas over at first with one away. And now one, one and two. two Next two and two. Misses. Ball two. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Wow. We'll do it again. He's begging. Give me that pitch one more time. A hanging changeup just out in front. Full count. One off the mark. Ball three. The three two is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound, but you know, his confidence should still be high. Be nice if I could just hit the zone with down. runners on. Swing and a miss. No balls, two strikes. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boo. The 0 2. Hit on the ground to the right side. And it's through for a hit. Headed for the plate. In there. Safely. Well, we're down by one. First, it's one zip. Back to back singles. Didn't make quality contact on the ground ball to the pull side, but Here's his song. His 
Haas Young Kim. Next pitch misses at one and one. Just missed. wow. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. On the ground to first. To second. <sighs> off the bag. Wow. Getting ready to hit. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. I think ultimately you want to tie him up. Get the ball in on double play ball to second. There's one. He's out. There's <sighs> goal, and he can't pick it. I promise you there are guys that get really faster when they can smell an RBI. That was a possible inning ending double play. Great hustle, and he gets rewarded with the RBI. Well, we're down by two. A little tardy on that fastball. He's going to have to get it going a little quicker. Get that front foot down. Even though Bogarts, at the beginning of his career, signed with and then played for the Boston. There we go. Got him looking. Good job at damage control right there. We're down by two. We should only be down by one. Back here at Petco Park. Top five, John Chabi with Here is Suarez. He's 0 for 1. Eugenio Suarez. And first offering is fouled off. Well, these Mariners just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to some frustrating moments. They've been fooled. Okay. No ball, two strikes. And the righty deals. There we go. And ball one. <clears throat> Swing. That is going to be caught. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. And here is Michael Matos. He's 0 for 1. Front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. 0 and 1 now. That one rips. Not long enough, is it? Going back. Back some more. Nope. Looking on the up. track. Pulls it in on the warning track. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew and he Harry Ford. Right away, his He's 0 for 1 as well. Got to the spot, turned around, and made a nice catch. There we go. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. <clears throat> So two down. Next to hit will be the pitch. Robbie Ray is 0 for 1. Three pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. Swings and misses. 0-1. Swing and That will not drop. Bogarts brings it in for the middle of the fifth. We're down by two. We head to the bottom of the fifth, and here is Jake Cronenworth. And a good fast okay. to start him off. That's strike one. Jake Cronenworth, the Michigan kid, he played at the University of Michigan. Rays took him in the 15 nope, draft in the seventh round. Grew up playing a, a lot of hockey, eventually made his big league debut with the Padres. Chris, he's been an all-star twice. One ball. Swing and a miss. And the count is one and two. Yeah, and when he came up to the big leagues, just seeing how quickly he was comfortable. There we go. Player, nice, easy hit. To me, he was kind of that sneaky favorite player that I had. He went. He went. Checks his swing. Appeal down to third. That's a swing, according to umpire Woody Keller. One down, base is empty. And a foul ball. Okay, 0 and 2. Defensively, can play all over the place. In college, he was a two way guy. They not only used him as a middle infielder, but he closed games, and the Rays actually used him that way at Triple A in terms of letting him throw some meaningful innings as a reliever. Next pitch in the dirt. One and two to count. Got him. The punch out there. 
And he's down on strikes. For okay. The time today. Two outs, base is empty. Now the third baseman, Manny Machado. That misses the zone. Ball one. In the air, center field. He's got it. End of the fifth. We're down by two. Nothing doing there for the Friars, but they're on top two nothing. Top six. Now it's the shortstop, number 43. Cole Young is 0 for 2. Giolito back to work. A good circle. For a strike. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. On the ground. The tag is Okay. Colton, Colton Wong is 0 for 2 as well. In the air out to center. Okay. Makes the grab of the Couldn't have done much better with that. And stepping in for the Mariners, Teoscar Hernandez. One for two. Hernandez is one for two. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0 and 1. Hernandez measures six feet two inches, 215 pounds. And he's won a silver slugger in the American. Come on. Check swing went around. And the count is 0-2. And a swing and a miss. Wow. Okay. Well, we go bottom six. Digging in. Thomas is one for two. Out to short. On to first, one away, bottom of the sixth. Well, he's doing a nice Null is job. one for one. Out of the air, lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Nola in the box with one away as he takes ball one. Pitch misses, <laughs> and it's 2-0. and oh. He's been raking in recent games, and a big reason why getting there we go. Counts. He's been able to do that consistently, and you see the results. That one clubbed out towards left center. That'll be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. In safely. It's a double at his second hit. All right. All over that one right there. A lot of hitters tell themselves line drive over the infielder's head. That's what Grisham is one for two. Simple. And right there, it was There's a strike. Executed. On time with everything and pulled it into the gap nicely. And he'll won. Now a check swing, but he held up. Swang and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. Nola around third. He will score, and they lead by three. Okay, we're down by three. Back-to-back -back singles for him. Pitch was on the outside, didn't go the other way with it, but still a nice job of using the big part of the field to find a hole. No way he hits it that well if he hooks around the baseball there. Kim stands in now, looks at that one inside. On the ground, right side. <gasps> Are you kidding me? That's twice he's done that. Next up is the Padres pitcher, Lucas Giolito. Swings and misses. It's 0 and 1. That clips the corner. Now, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. Slow ground ball to the right side. On to France. Out number two and another. Down by two. Down. Got two RBIs. Now Xander Bogarts gets a chance to hit. That one's in there. Strike. Okay, this will be his last inning. So uh let's get Emerson Hancock warming up. He's got power at the plate, discipline to go along with it. Oh, and if he gets on, he's got the speed. This guy's a great combo, and he's an RBI machine. At the belt and fires. On uh, the ground to third. Zips it to first. Okay. End of six. 
We're down by four. <clears throat> Here's Julio Rodriguez. He's one for two. Okay. And he'll need to do bad. The one. Upstairs. One and one. Get something going. This is the guy you want at the plate. He's been great for this team. He is a professional hitter. One and two. It's a one two. Gets a piece and stays alive. And a ball and two strikes. Two and two. Inside with the curve. I don't know why I swung. Here's Ty France. He's 0 for 2. <clears throat> in that location hitters especially with two strikes have to be ready to pull the trigger Ty France up next for the Mariners France having more success against left-handed pitching this season as might be expected okay to first Suarez is over two as well swing it a foul straight back Strike two. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Pulls the string with the changeup, struck him. Okay. Bottom of the seventh, and here's the first baseman, Jake Cronenworth. New pitcher for the Mariners, Emerson Hancock. So Emerson Hancock will pitch. And that one wrapped foul. Up the middle. Fires to first on the run. That Good throw by over. Young. Well, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit. Rolled over on it and beat it into the ground. Soto. I am not throwing that one again. And now it's even up. One ball, one strike. That one is upstairs. His bat twitch got me on that one. In the dirt, and the count is three and one. That's extremely distracting. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. His ability to draw walks has been something. It's been part of his career since day one. And Manny gets a piece. Right hander kicks deals. Wow, come on. Line drive. He's out. End of the seventh. Down by four. Nothing doing for the offense that time. Back here in San Diego for the top of the eight. And now for Seattle, Michael. And Casey Sadler will warm him up. Because the pitcher's spot is coming up. Giolito still out there to pitch the eighth and working with a big lead. He's been excellent, really on his game in this one. And at this point, he wants to finish what he started. Here's your one. Looked like it okay. Was a bit up. Is there a debate to be had about shutting him down, maybe to preserve some bullets given the score? Absolutely. When you consider over the course of a long season, guys putting a lot of stress on that elbow, on that shoulder, but you also have to pry the ball out of a hand of a guy like this because he's so competitive. Two and two. Just misses. Yeah, that's ball two. Still two and two.
full count. Full count now. Giolito into his eighth inning of work, Singy. He's been good. Yeah, he's the type of guy that gets better as he gets deeper into the Got him. Now a rocket to right center. Way back there. And forget it. It's okay. He circles the bases and they Well, that's a good start to the inning. Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news. And all of a sudden, they're back in this ball game. Okay, 424 feet, and they're going to come get him. way towards the mound as he will make the move. Lucas Giolito will depart. Tanner Howe taking over on the mound. He's being eased into the game here. With okay, the and Tanner Houck has a slider sinker for Seaman Splitter. Nice opposite field approach in his last at bat. First offering misses. Ford will take the first. Count in great shape. It seems you might have a chance to finish it. Okay. Next offering is in for a strike. Good strike. And now two and one. Activity in the bullpen for San Diego. Drew Pomerantz, the saves leader in the National League, is up and throwing. Garcia warming up as well. Just a go, go, go. Time. The throw to first. Gets All the right. Bias and there's one out. And he's a righty. Calhoun has the most power. Murphy. Hmm. You know what? We'll take, um, we'll take Calhoun. So they're making a move for a bat off the bench. Cole Calhoun. Okay, he's hitting 212 on the season. Popped up to the left. In drop, the drop, drop. Round. And that's a foul ball. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats. Try to a little bit late. Because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. That's towards center. That's not going to drop. Two down. And Cole Young, 0 for 3. Number 43. Okay. Middle of the eighth, we're down by three. Seattle gets a little closer on this solo homer. It's now 4-1. And uh, Casey Sadler will come into the game. They go with one of their more experienced arms in this spot, Casey Sadler. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep them within striking distance. That one hit to right. Good and catch. Makes the grab on the run. Next for the Padres, Austin Nola. Swing and a ball popped up, and that's a fair ball. Okay. One down. Stepping in for San Diego, Trent Grisham. This one kicks away a little as he can't squeeze it. And no movement on the bases. It's ball one. Nola, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. There we go. Strike one. Bring his in for a strike. Ball two. Right there. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Ripped into right field. Base hit. Throws to second. They get the force. Beats him despite the long. Okay. Throw. So digging in now for San Diego. Hassan Kim. Here we go. Ball one or strike one. 
You want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the runner on the go. Strike in there. He's safe. Go to second. Save. Chris, his wheels were the difference maker on that play. Just got in there. Yeah, with StatCast's help, we see his top speed on this stolen base, and that's a big number. I mean, man, he really made his athleticism work for him on that one. That did not work. He's going to count one and two. Got him. Got him looking. That's okay. a strikeout. We have three outs. And possibly a double switch coming now as a meeting taking place near the home. And here is Colton Wong. He is 0 for 3. Drew Pomerantz. Drew Pomerantz. He's got a four seam knuckle curve and a two seam. A small lead on the scoreboard. And you know those hitters are going to give you the best at bats they can. So it's always high stress. Okay. Let's see what he's got here to try and close it out. That takes care of Wong. Good arm side run and sink on that pitch right there. Hernandez is one for three with a uh, single. Now it's the right fielder, Teoscar Hernandez. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Oh. Swing and a miss as he chases that one darting out of the zone. Okay. And a foul ball, he stays alive. A little bit late on that knuckle curve. The 0 2. And he chases that one. And a couple of quick outs. Oh, that's a curveball that people like to describe as a hit. And Julio Rodriguez, he is one for three with a single. Throws it hard and it gets plenty of bite on the end. Rodriguez at the plate with two away, swings through that one. Comes up empty yep. on the swing, old two now. Real ugly 0-1 swing right there as a pitcher. Got to be hunting for that strikeout. Keep him off balance. Send him back to the dugout. And a swing and a miss. And that is the ball game. We've lost. I don't care if you're a top team. Or you're and Tanner Kerwer uh, from AA has pulled a leg muscle. He's going to be out for a few days. We'll keep him active. And Dylan Moore, uh, he'll still be injured for a few days. We'll activate him. Okay, so we're going to move uh, Cooper Hummel down to, um, no, down to AAA. So that leaves Tom Murphy and Harry Ford to carry. Um, Cal Raleigh's got about 30 days left before he's back. And J.P. Crawford can be reinstated from the injured list, but he's still going to be injured for five to six months. He's back on the 60. So after today's games, uh, we are in third place in the American League West. We are 19 and a half games behind the Rangers. Um, they're probably going to win uh, the pennant for the, or win the, um, the division. Uh, we are two and a half behind the Astros. We are a game ahead of the Angels, and we are 25. Yes, 25 games ahead of Oakland. And we are five games back in the wild card. And we got swept by San Diego, and then we swept Houston, and Robbie Ray lost... Uh, the game against Cincinnati. And in the next episode, we are going to be at home against Cincinnati and Enrique Del Villar. And we're going to be pitching as Justice Sheffield. But that will be the next episode. I want to thank everybody for watching. My name is Allstream. That hit the like button if you like this type of content. It lets me know that you like this particular type of content and would like to see more. Hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications to be notified every time I post a video. And follow me on Twitter, Discord, and on the second channel.
The links will be in the description below. Have a wonderful day.